night one. Uh, made camp at, uh, where are we, Barkley? Barkley. Barkley Lake on the Blood Vein River. And we finally got to take off this morning. The, the weather was bad last night, couldn't leave, uh, couldn't leave this morning early. Uh, so finally we left about 10, 10 o'clock, I think, uh, we could finally get in the air. And about a 40 minute flight, landed in Artery Lake. Uh, landed on the same site that um, my, my uh, canoe mate Andy Baxter got picked up at uh, with him and uh, his wife uh, in 1986. They finished a trip in, uh, in Woodland Caribou and actually were picked up the same spot. So it was kind of neat, you know, reminiscent for him. And we headed out and we paddled for a bit and then actually checked out the uh, native paintings on uh, the blood vein. And amazing. I've seen so many native paintings uh, uh, on my trips, but nothing like that. Uh, you, just for that alone, you got to come here. So uh, what are you doing, Andy? Well, um, out of respect and reverence for these uh, ancient and, and spiritual sites, um, the tradition amongst the First Nations was to leave an offering of tobacco or something valuable and uh, so we brought some tobacco to uh, leave here also uh, out of respect for their culture and, uh, and this exceptionally uh, significant and special site. We're having uh, our first meal, and what we've done for meals is that uh, each person has uh, prepared two meals each for the trip. And it's not my uh, turn tonight. It's, uh, I think it's Bill's. Okay, uh, Bill. Um, yes, sir. I've just got a question here for you. I've never seen this before. Uh, first of all, what are you cooking on? Well, I've seen that before. I am cooking on the 180 stove, that's the name of it. Well, no, the, the apparatus. Oh, the Mason kitchen. The, so why is it called the Mason kitchen? because Paul Mason came up with the idea and asked me to help him design it. Okay, and, that, that, and we, uh, this is a new prototype actually, the first time we've tested it on a trip, and it's uh, getting a good workout. What's different? What's different, it's lighter, it um, has some new ideas, this entire back piece here is new, so it automatically cuts out a little bit of labor for us, we're trying to get the price down, and it makes the setup a little bit easier as well, which is all good things if it works. And we'll find out at the end of uh, <laughs> maybe this meal. Well, uh, I'm just uh, uh, going to ask the next question. You're cooking steak uh, on your Mason kitchen. Um, what is the stove called? It's, it's called the 180 stove, and it's all wood. It's got the stain all stainless steel, and it. Uh, Actually, it's really nice design and it has lots of airflow. Extremely light. It packages up into about eight inches uh, by four inches by an inch and a half thick into a wee tiny little bag. And I really like that. I, I don't actually know the weight off the top of my head, but I bet you it's under, under three quarters of a pound. Easily. Actually, it's probably about half a pound. And um, those steaks, are they half a pound? Or? Yeah, I think they're more like a pound, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> they're huge. So my impression of Woodland Caribou the first night, I like it.